Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be a little bit faster, I hope, because you, as a student, should already know what needs to be done. This is just a quick reminder on how to do it. One, in Unit 7, again, I am showing the Buzz 2.0 version versus the old Buzz, mostly because in Buzz 2.0, there's two great facts. And this is more for parents than for students. They've heard me say this. One, you have this wonderful sidebar. Yes, you can get rid of it by closing, making a full screen or not. And so you have this wonderful full screen. But two, if you do the drop down menu, you can expand or hide sections of your assignments. But in the drop down menu, you have the list. And even though in the old version, this would show as a check mark. So a student might think it was done in the new version. They can see that it was submitted, but not 100% done, or as I call a green score. That is one reason why I love new Buzz 2.0. The other reason is the performance button over here. In the performance button, the students can easily see what the due dates are and whether or not they've submitted like this, or what scores they have on it. So again, it's a really easy way to check your assignment's completion versus whether or not it's just a green check mark in old buzz. Okay, back to the layout of the unit. Okay. In the unit, you will be using the button up here called Course Links. In there, you will have to open up and find the paper assignments that you scanned into the shared Dropbox folder. I've left directions within the classroom, but just in case, I'm going to walk the kids through it again. You click that link. It opens up looking like this. Well, that's kind of confusing. However, click on Open in Drive. Now it's accessing it within your Drive account. Here is what is wonderful about it. You can sort the files. You can sort it by name or last modified. Last modified is nice and easy because if you were the doing it today and you're looking for it today, it will show up here such as her timeline was submitted at 1050. Once you find your artifact, you will click and drag it out into your personal drive. I'm not going to do that because I do not want to take this away from Madeline because her property. As you drag it into your drive, and remember you can have drives over here, where you just drag it and drop it right into it. It will remove it from the shared folder here. Again, do not delete somebody else's work, as said in a previous video. Okay, so that was one thing I wanted to review. Really quickly, the course links, Google folder of scans. In the old student's version, that would be found over here in the old buzz. Unit 7. I have rearranged things so some of the due dates don't match up correctly quite yet. I'm trying to adjust that. However, you should be able to have finished the work to allow you to take the quiz by for, before the 25th of April or at the end of the unit before the projects. However, you will not be allowed to take the quiz until you successfully completed the activities. You have a paper assignment. That is the map of your three civilizations. I added the words create, scan, and submit. Again, that was what I was just talking about that you drag, you took into your drive folder. To find it, you hit Dropbox and you could choose the file then. Or you can also add the picture. Both works wonderful. 
However, if you do a picture to put it in here, please make sure to resize it. The file, it doesn't matter, it opens up in a general format for me. At the moment, this button is not quite working. I hope it will be soon. Nevertheless, find the map, your map, submit it, and hit submit. Then I will go in and grade your completion of it. Next idea, the vocab. In this vocabulary page, you are supposed to be searching for and finding images that is connected to the civilization. They cannot just be any image. It has to connect to one of these ancient civilizations. Please do not find an example of a causeway that is not part of the definition. Please do not find a European conquistador or conqueror that took and conquered over in Europe and Asia area. No, you cannot have metal sprinkler heads for irrigation. The Incas did amazing jobs of having an irrigation network. No, do not put a terrace like you would see a balcony. It's not that type of vocab. This one would be very popular in the Incans, and so on and so forth. Yes, some of these are going to be a little bit harder to find as it connects to the unit. However, you can be creative, and of course, if you want to argue why it should be allowed, put your information within this page, right here. Fact and opinion. You can find an image of a fact of one of these ancient civilizations. You definitely could find an opinion of one of the ancient civilizations. Do not forget to find and copy the website where the image came from. That is an easy way to find out whether or not your link is correct and your image would be correct. Okay, back to the bus. Of course, when you're done, you're going to share the document with a peer to have it edited and graded and help you be successful to not get a failing grade in once you turn it in. Turn it in into the website address with your Google Docs by sharing the link. No, do not add my email as the share button. You will share it as a link, get shareable link into Buzz. To share and have a friend edit your work, you put their email address in. To turn it in, to me, it should be an editable or commentable link, not just view. You can, but then the feedback is not right with the information. Okay, so as I was saying, that was the vocab. The next assignment, timeline. You're going to watch the video. It's quite enjoyable and funny. And, of course, you're going to open up this website and read about what history is behind the change from using the two different ways of looking at a timeline. At the bo bottom, you're just going to write a short summary and response to what you just learned about the new way of looking at timelines as well as timelines themselves. Just type in your response. Next item, this is a timeline you're going to create. I've allowed multiple different timelines to be created. However, if you're stuck, you should be watching this PowerPoint and creating the timeline just like it shows right here. You will have three different timelines, one for each civilization. Please make sure that your zero lines up in all three timelines. Submit it in a Dropbox, same way, by file, choosing your file of the scan of your timeline. If your timeline, of course, is bigger than the scanned paper, you're going to take a picture or a video of it, explaining it, and submit that link to me. All right, and finally, right down here, this is all the background information to help you be successful. In here, we have the PowerPoints, the, a Google Doc, to help you with taking notes as you're watching 
and answering questions, PowerPoints, and discussion boards. Each civilization is below it right here, and this page is a good note-taking page. I will... It looks like this. Now, in class, because I'm gone, I also have paper copies of this. If you were online and started one online and you did the Maya section, okay, great. When you're in the teacher station, work on the Aztec section and the Inca on paper. Because then you can either scan it and add it as part of yours, or even better, type it in when you have access to your file. Again, when you're done, you will have to submit it to me so I can see that you finished your work and also give you feedback if you are completely off on your information. So this one, even though it's at the top of this list here, it will actually not be finished until you finish all three civilizations. Okay, really quickly way of looking at this. In the folder, the primary folder, it shows you a nice neat snapshot of what's going on. Here was that document I was talking about. They can either do it on paper or digitally or combination of both. The next three items here kind of go together. Video with questions. Yes, you should easily get 100%. If you do not, let me know and I will work with you. Yes, you can have the questions and the video open at the same time. The PowerPoints. Watch, go through the PowerPoints and confirm information you might have found from the video. Discussion board. There is one more video in there that's wonderful. Watch it. It will help you finish the other two. Discussion board. I'm not grading it this unit, mostly because I did not set it up completely in a way that will get product well, sorry, will produce high quality product of discussions. However, use it to help fill in the blank of the spreadsheet or the study guide. Next section, here are your Aztec three activities. Final section, here is the Incas information. Once you finish going through all of this, then your study guide here should easily be filled in, on paper or digitally. The last few things now will help you for your test. One, you had to learn about difference between fact and opinion. Oh, sorry. If it gives you a but an indication like that, it's because it was set up that you must do the beginning to get towards the end. So I'll not be able to show you at the moment a fact and opinion page. However, actually I will, just a second. Okay, I was able to switch to my version of it, which gives complete access. Fact and opinion now. To do this assignment, you watch the video. You can watch it multiple times. It's going to talk about statements that makes something a fact or opinion. Then you're going to click Start the Test. When you start the test, of course, if you don't get a high score, do it again. But you're going to start the test. You're going to click on Fact or Opinion button right here. After you hit that Play button, type in your name and hit Submit. Then it's going to go through and give you statements, and you have to decide if that statement is a fact or opinion. When you are done, there are 25 questions. When you're done, it's going to give you this page. I know if you get 70% or better, I think it says you passed. However, I don't want that, nor should you, because if you want a grade in the grade book, you want a high grade, not just an average grade. However, whatever grade that you feel you deserve, you will 
select make a print screen of this and turn it into the Dropbox. Back in the Buzz activity on the Chromebook, I give you choices, the keystroke combination, the full screen, or this combination, which will then give you the cursor of a plus sign that you would be able to drag one corner box down to the bottom box, and it will capture just that image. Again, you're going to submit it in Dropbox. You're going to choose your file or your picture. At this time, the file would be in your downloads in your Google Drive versus the actual area. After that, you have the review, one more video to help you review and recap facts. Then you have two practices in Quizlet. Two practices of sets in Quizlet. One just covers the vocabulary terms. The other covers civilization matches. You will take the test. Remember, you want to screen capture the best scores. You will have two screen captures to submit. So yes, you can paste one in, save it, go back and do the other, and paste the next one in. It does not have to be done at the same day. However, you're going to have two screenshots. Do not do just true and false. Do not, sorry, you do not have to do a written test. But you should have the maximum terms as part of your test. Again, when you're done, it's going to give you a score, capture the screen, submit it into Buzz, save it if it's the first one, and then do the next one. When you've finished everything ahead of this, then you are ready to check your note-taking answer key guide. Yes, you can go back and change it, even if it's submitted. Upon checking it, you will get the password to come into this Dropbox, and within here, you have access to that master copy. Also, you will want to do the unit study guide for the, the test before you do the quiz. You have to have that finished and of course you'll get the access to the quiz. Get mastery on the quiz. You can retake it, I believe, up to five times. Get mastery because you cannot go on to check your study guide answer key of the test practice which looks like this document until you've gained mastery of the quiz. Finally there is the final test that you'll take and if you have access to it and if it plays I've created playlists that either you can click on the link or down here of a TV show called Horrible Histories. It looks and recalls historical facts with quite a lot of humor. This is not a required one, so if you don't want to watch it, just mark the activity complete. If you do, great. You can still mark the activity complete when you're done. Wow, Unit 7. You can do it. I know everybody can. The only thing that has not been put into Unit 7 will be the blog directions. Clue. You're going to have your map of your civilizations. You're going to have your timeline. And probably you're going to talk about what you learned in your project, the two paragraphs there. You can even take pictures of your finished project and load it as part of your blog. Okay, Unit 7 is a lot of fun, a lot of information, but it's great to get done. If you finish Unit 7 before the rest of class, yes, you can go on to Unit 8. You do not have to be waiting for them. Thank you very much, and if you have questions, shoot me an email, and when I can, I will reply. Thank you.